Hello there, Wob, and welcome to the solar system of Devil Worlds. This is a campaign made by the Devil Brothers, that they called themselves. Back in the 2000s, this is. I'm sure it is. Maybe 2010, actually. Thinking, thinking back. 16-level campaign. It's not 25, so it's only 16 levels. Apparently, the folders and the files and everything were corrupt and damaged, so I think Tatey Mini, one of the users, one of the admins of Popular Server and Kinetic, actually went through and fixed a bit of it, so it got it working. And this is it. This is it. 16 levels. The Souls from Devil Worlds. I've heard it's meant to be quite a decent campaign. So, let's, let's just play it and find out. Not so long ago, since the Chosen Acolytes... Okay, so, so yeah, these guys aren't English, by the way, so this, these, this, this gonna be messages are going to be don't make any sense sometimes. Not so long ago, since the Chosen Acolyte became the new shaman, the god gave her a challenge. The well-known enemies sent out explorer teams across the galaxy to find out how they can use their divine powers as they wish. It seems that they have a clue because the Dakini and the Matic tribes are here. Now it's time to follow them. Alright. Now it's time to follow them. Of course, picture me, we're on Twitch, and I can see your messages on Twitch within 3-4 seconds now, so I can see it. If you speak to me, I'll probably still miss it because it's down here somewhere on my phone, but... I can respond quicker to you on Twitch. So we've got a vault of knowledge here, we've got the, the hut and the blast. Which is good, this is good for me, I like progression in campaigns, this could be what, I, what the perfect campaign. There's a warrior hood over there, protected by the Dakini tribe. That was a T-burp. This is the Dakini base, so we've got a Matak base over here. They've got a warrior huts as well. A nice looking world, I like it guys, I like it. And the flyby even takes us back to our beginning, right. Hi. Okay. We have a shaman, but we have no braves. I'm hoping maybe worshiping this triggers us a brave, maybe. <laughs> Otherwise, there's nothing we can do. Let's see. Can't get over there either. How do I get over there? Like so oh, yeah, it does. And the world hero. Oh, it's even a message. Shaman, you have found one of your Vault of Knowledges. I've risen for you. All around this soul system. I feel sorry about your people who couldn't come with you, but I've given you two braves to help you build a new track. It's very kind. And the world is erupting at the same time. The good old earthquake trigger in the ocean somewhere to make it look like something monumental is happening. Okay, how we get over there? We have to go around. Can't autocast around. Okay, this is interesting. The, the, maybe I can just... Okay, hang on. Don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know if this is what I'm meant to do. Actually, let's wait, actually, because this can't be what they want us to do. Force our way around to get the blast. Because we can't autocast around because we have no spells. And the blast here can't be accessed. So you click here. One or more of your people can't get to this point. So am I speaking over my microphone here? Please. Let's see if something triggers, like a time trigger or something. Like a land bridge maybe comes down here or something occurs. Maybe the enemy comes and land bridges us. Let's just build a nice little civilization for now. We'll take it easy. It's the first level of the campaign. Guard post forcing, that's a new one. Yeah, well. <laughs> you, have to, you have to fig these out, Titanic. There's always a way to exploit populace to the beginning. As you see now, we're dismantling the hut. And then rebuilding it, so we get another man. So he puts a green bar straight back up there. Farm a bit of trees. Dismantle the second hut. I like the sky. I look at the sky box. Is that a sky box or is it just a sky that maybe isn't a box? I don't really know the term sky box. I should know this stuff. This is a sky box game, right? Because it's a sky. We're in the box of a sky. No matter where we are, the sky is the same. Is it? No, no. Oh, no, no. E3D mode, guys. This is like top-notch graphics of the 1998s. Shaman, you are dismantling a hut. Oh, we're going to be getting some of that. I think, I think I'm pretty much deciding on... F Why am I getting fried out? Saturday, the 29th of September... A full stream of the original game 
of the of the PlayStation version with a PlayStation controller with me drinking whiskey from nine o'clock in the morning my time. That's my plan in my head. Now my daughter and my wife will be in the house. It probably is restricting me somewhat. But that's gonna be my my uh, Bon Voyage stream. It doesn't look like anything's happening. We might be forced to uh, force ourselves ourselves around here. Try and get four huts, because on the original campaign, after you get four huts, the narrator goes, your settlement is thriving, shaman. So maybe once we have four huts... I see. Right. Ah. Tribes and the gods have, have a strong link. Really? The stronger tribes are more influence, and the more influence the gods have. Remember, not English. The result. This resulted a land bridge, so you can reach the vault of knowledge. Right, it did. Go get me my blast. Nice bit of land to build on as well. That's good. That's good. This was made by people who probably don't expect you to force and be a bit of a, bit of a exploiting moron. So, well, I think that was a good thing. Although, if I'd, be, I'd have been around there already, I'd have got the blast. I would have ruined the whole like. Uh, I would have ruined the whole level. I'm glad I didn't. I am glad I did. I mean, it's not stopping me from dismantling, but there's not much else to do, is there? Psychic, yeah. I haven't actually played this campaign at all. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Shaman, you have the blast spell, and now you can sneak into the Dakini's base to get the warrior hood. Warriors are strong and can destroy our enemy's buildings. I've created more land and also filled your blast spell with all four shots. Thanks, man. Oh, this. What? Oh. I'm the acolyte, right? Is this. Alright, so there's this, like. This sounds like it's between. If we're gonna try and get some law in populace, it sounds like it's kind of between Undiscovered Worlds and after the original game, because the chosen acolyte they're referring to. Oh, this could be after Undiscovered. We could be this. We could be like the next acolyte. That that's a bad place now. Oh, Zed. Yeah, that does happen actually. The Itenic blast still has partially charged, so. What a, what a cool thing to do, is if I used to do uh, online and single player as well, is, for instance, if there's a, a volcano stone head, you would, you would charge your own volcano, right? You charge your own volcano just until it's about to be ready to cast, and then you'd stop it. And then you'd worship the volcano, you'd get the volcano. You can't charge anymore because you got the full shot. And then you chart then you start praying for another one. So just just as you get the second volcano from the stone head, you cast the original one, you get the second one, you cast the second one, and then you start charging again the original one you were charging, and then you cast a third one, and you've casted three volcanoes in a row. Looks cool. Okay, so it seems like I'm getting a bit overzealous here. Let's, uh, let's keep my shaman alive, because, you know, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Okay, let's get out of here quick, 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 quick. He's dead. We'll live to fight another day. All in the same mode, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get very far with the range of uh, <laughs> three volcanoes. But it's gonna look cool nonetheless. Something you kind of do with firestorms online. Do that, save up, get three firestorms off at once. And then just walk your way into a base so easily. Maybe three roads. You need three roads just so it has the same power as one earthquake. Okay, so apparently we can sneak into the Dakini base, but. Yeah, we haven't really got invisibility, and these warriors are patrolling, so not exactly a sneak, but I'm sure we can blast our way in now. I'm sure we have the mana to do it. Get back in there. Okay, the brave is the first uh, line of defense. Now, if we can blast the one at the back here, hopefully, we can knock these into the into the water. When they come back, 
keep our shame in a decent range. Hopefully they won't run an attacker. Let's have a look, see if I can do what I'm saying. Oh, look at them go. Look at them go. They have a lot though, they've got the trading hood over there. They've got two warrior trading hoods actually, and the shaman's in the tower. Look, we have a decent amount of mana now though, so we don't have to worry about... ...conserving our blasts. We can just blast them like mad. Help if I hit the target. Oh, they both got in the drink. Beautiful. Okay, what I'm gonna do actually... Gather the wood here. I'm gonna put this wood outside of these huts. Why aren't you... What's she doing? There's another one coming to stop her now. I've just blasted the Vault of Knowledge. Because... Alright. Got the trees outside there, have we? That should be eight. We need eight things. Hey, hey, I didn't want you to build it. Hey, I don't want you to build it. Right, so let's get it. Okay. Once we get that, we've got wood outside. We need a bit more wood there, actually. Bring three bits of wood here, and this one... That's enough. We can put the warrior hood straight down and build them straight up. Is it further or farther when you say that word? Further? Farther? Oh, come on. What is it with the AI always sending one... Is that hard-coded? It must be hard-coded into the game, because they do it on every single game. Alright. Let's see a little here now as well. Bottled Knowledge gave us an extra two huts. These guys are, are waiting. Waiting with wood in hand. And then we're going to get some warriors and just go running in. Oh, are they attacking me here? This could be an attack. I could be getting stopped right now. Come on, Shaman, let's go. Come on, Shaman. I'm under attack. I'll be damned. These men have got wood. They've got wood. Can't afford to lose that wood. Otherwise, no one will be there to repopulate the village. Oh, is that where they stop? Are oh, they going in? they got warriors. They're going to... Oh, they're running past the warrior hood, though. That's all right. That's okay. Get off me, shaman! Okay, they've got two warriors. They're going to kill about 12 braves with, between them, so... It's not the end of the world. Friends my own warriors now. We have enough braves back home to hopefully survive. I'm confident we can survive. Get another warrior hood up. Get this warrior up here. Take out this brave. Can I build here? What the correct use is for the distance? A further. Oh, this is conversations getting out of hand. Education lesson going on in the twat. In the in the in the twatch. I almost said twat because I was going to say the Twitch chat, which I guess is called like the twat. Yeah, there we go. Let me know down below in the twat. Right, can we get some men moving up? Come protect the shame and they just. Oh, it's crashed! Not the save. We're going to save now. We've recovered from the crash, rebuilt the base. Let's go. 63 men. Let's push in. Not messing about this time. Shaman needs backup, she needs support. Let's get them all to guard the Shaman, and then we might get lightninged and lose our entire tribe. Swall equals beefy, bigger, and stronger. Beefy, bigger, and strong. I've never heard that word before, and I'm, I'm quite I'm quite up with the uh, with the English vernacular. That sounds like some sort of silly internet word. Probably just comes from Reddit. Come on, attack! You ever, feel, ever want to feel like all just going red and people just... Jesus, she's blasting me, man! 
People just keep typing the same sentence every other every other thread. Started going on Reddit to get like discussions and things and like find out about topics, but you can't read anything about anything. Just all the most upvoted posts are just stupid images with text over them. Not even a platform for, for reading anymore, is it? It's just a bloody platform for looking at images. That's it, net baby. Getting old, me. I mean, to be fair, when I was on the internet, everyone would say things like woot, leet. So, I guess people say swall these days. Did you prefer dig? Never went on dig. But it's good when you know what subreddits to scrub so my 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 all filter I've got like a hundred subreddits just filtered out and I still can't get any information. And this I'm not subscribed to any because they're all just every time I go on one. Occasionally there'll be a good thread. Like yeah, that's good. I used to I used to go and ask Reddit when there was like really interesting questions on there, like serious things, but now it's just all like it's a bit like um, that website Qora. People asking hypothetical questions. If this was to happen. How would you, uh, how would you, if you, if you were immortal, if you could go back 3,000 years <laughs> and be immortal, would you do it? I swear, like, questions on Reddit every week, and it's always the most upvoted one. Come on, Shaman. I have my warrior hood now that's save again. I should probably build one because I guess when we kill the red tribe, we're going to get attacked by maybe the Matak. Subject plus ready. Yeah, I do that as well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, good blast. Good blast. I swear the internet makes you die a little. I'm not down with like the relevant memes. Like a meme for me is one does not simply get the Mordor. But that's that's the ultimate meme, right? One does not simply, that's the ultimate meme, and you know? it's just out of hand. Everything's a meme these days. They overuse the term meme. And people get called people get said they're people are trolling when they're just being dickheads. That's not trolling. Trolling in my day was just doing something deliberately to... It's kind of like, in a non-offensive way, you just mess with someone. Like, Rick Rolling was the ultimate troll. But now if you just call someone a wanker, and tell you tell you want to kill their bloody mother and all that stuff, oh, he's just a troll, ignore him. No, he's a fucking dickhead. Yeah, trolling equals abuse. It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> oh, I'm alive. Did a bit of a uh, skateboarding. Skateboarding? What's that word? What's that thing where you do where you skate? Skating. There was no board, but I was skating. Right, let's blast these houses. They're adamant they want to keep patrolling this with their men. Anyway, let's get the conversation back to populist because it's kind of like the equivalent of me talking about politics. It's like, no, it's like the equivalent of a celebrity who you like talk about politics, blindly following their beliefs because they were good in fucking whatever film. What's in the box? Well, he lost his wife, so I must listen to Brad Pitt, man. Whatever he believes, I believe. I tell you that uh, far left is mental. You don't have to take my word for it. If I tell you populist is a great game, you better believe me. You better believe me. Flaming, yeah, that's a word. You don't hear the word flaming much anymore, do you? <laughs> I 
the great supports the Nazis. I don't know why the, the Nazis get that word gets thrown around so much. Literally Nazis. How often do you say the word literally online? There are two things that annoy me about the internet, right? The internet speech. When someone writes I mean before they write their post, why are you writing I mean? You only say I mean in real life. It's like an interjection before your words. Okay, hang on. The Kenya are dead. Excellent. Sometimes the dead tribe's manner do strange things. Be prepared. A surprise is waiting for you. Right. I'm prepared. I'm not prepared. The whole I mean thing, I understand it. Because someone says something stupid and you go, well, I mean, uh, yeah. It's just, yeah. But I mean, normally it's like I mean to say. What do you mean? Well, I mean to say. Oh, so this has triggered the Matak to attack us. Yes, and the word literally, I don't like it either. It's just no longer the word means literally. Somewhere along the line, it got replaced. Literally now means figuratively, and figuratively still means figurative. Oh, that's a shot. Let's bring my warriors up. Except them. This is the surprise, guys. The Matak are now attacking us. Now a shaman's up here holding them all off. Does it literally drive me mad? It doesn't literally drive me mad. It literally drive me mad. That's a good. That's a good one. Because try to drive someone mad is a figure of speech. But how can a figure of speech literally do something? Ooh, Titanic! You're playing with me. I would fit in the Nazis' Aryan, Aryan race. I would. The Nazi... The whole fascism thing could never happen these days. There's too much technology. No one can control the media anymore like the way the Nazis did. All of, all of Germany was on board with... Well, the majority of Germany was on board with the Nazi regime because they were under the belief that other countries were doing horrible things to them. And stifled them and things, but it was not. It was just, what was his name? Go Goebbels? Joseph Goebbels, the propaganda guy? He was just so good at his job. Made everyone believe that Jews had to be killed. And then Hitler went nuts. To summarise the whole of the war. Hitler went nuts. He was, he was sound. He was nuts in a sound way at the beginning. As, as the years went on throughout the war, he was, became nuts in a, in a mental way. Didn't trust anyone, did he? I've lost, I've lost control. <laughs> Using literally makes your sentence more intense. Why not just use the word intense? He is intensely Nazi. That makes it intense. If someone says literally, and it's not literally to me, it doesn't make it more intense to me, it makes it like, less fact. You know what I mean? People say, Donald Trump is literally Hitler. So he's not Hitler. <laughs> I love literally Hitler. I love that one. Anything to do with the Nazi regime, fascism, Hitler, it's always literal. Hitler. Oh, Hitler wanted to uh, definitely kill people. I, I mean, Hitler killed his own advisors because he didn't trust them. To be fair, there were so many times Hitler should have died. Let's be honest. Should have been killed in the war in World War One, but someone let him live. That's the story. He was, he was. There was an assassination attempt on him. No, when he when he was first starting in the 1920s, 
he, he he held his arms against like a, a in a revolt and got people shot at him and it missed him by like an arm length and then there was an assassination attempt on him during the war and everyone died in the room apart from him because a plank got in the way or something crazy crazy man how the, how a one thing can change the whole course of history Anyway, that was the exploration to Ugin's. Sort of, we got off track a bit there. Maybe next level we can we can tone it down a bit and talk about something prettier. Yeah. Okay, guys.